Shabbat Shalom and welcome to Olive Tree Community Spokane. The following recording is from this week's teaching on the Parsha or portion from the Torah. You can find more details on this Parsha and the scripture being referred to in the pull down menu below. Now let's join our teacher as he shares his insights from the scriptures. It is uh, so good to be here this uh, sunny Sunday morning in April. Are you confused? <laughs> so I, I say it like that because we have an issue in, in our world today of uh, confusion and wholesale lying, right? <clears throat> I could sit here and repeat what I just said enough times that some of you might, might begin to think it is a sunny Sunday morning in April. But we here, we know the truth, right? That's important. This week's uh, Parsha uh, talks about holiness, the importance of holiness, uh, how the priests were to be holy. And uh, it, is, uh, it is something that we are missing in, in our world, our lives. The Vea Hafta, you know, it is so so crucial to make sure our children hear the truth. Now, I, I know myself, and I can only speak for myself. Um, I, I tried to uh, make sure that my children understood the truth, God's word. Now, because of my own... Uh, my own issues, my own pride, my own sin. Uh, I didn't fully understand his word and so didn't transmit it fully to them. Uh, you try, I tried at different times to uh, compensate for that by uh, going overboard on, uh, on uh, what's uh, legalistic stuff, maybe. Uh, I, I've always seen that that seems to drive people away from God. Uh, it's interesting that uh, we see all the instruction to the priest, the Kohanim, uh, of how to conduct uh, the sacrifices and everything. It, it was important, right? This is what set them apart. You know, that, uh, that call... Uh, God calls his people to be holy because he is holy. And that, that parallels with Yeshua in the Brit Hadashah uh, telling his disciples, therefore be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. That word perfect, of course, means, uh, you know, to have integrity where, where your words, your thoughts, and your actions line up. Uh, I noticed that in the uh, Haf Torah, you know, there's a, a few verses out of Ezekiel, and uh, it talks about <clears throat> the sons of Zadok, Zadok uh, taking over and being the ones to lead worship. That was like, I believe, around 587 B.C., and and they were the high priests down that line until about 175 BC. So uh, about the time of the Maccabees. But they were sons of Zadok, uh, righteousness, right? It, interesting. And, and of course, Yeshua in, in the reading from the Brit Hadashah is having a, a debate with the, or the high priest at the time Caiaphas was questioning him. And you can see that they were plotting, uh, lying against him to be able to kill him. And uh, it's interesting because we are in this place today and for the same reasons, right? At the, at the time of, you know, the destruction of the temple, 
back in 587 uh, BC, we had the Levites and the people, uh, you know, going off doing their own thing. But I'm sure they were led by lies, right? Lies like, uh, you know, uh, there is no God. Uh, you know, you can worship God uh, with temple pr prostitutes or, you know, uh, you uh, a man isn't really a man or man can be a woman. Uh, I'm sure there were all kinds of lies and, and they obviously bought into it because that temple was destroyed. Uh, but the people who didn't were was Zadok and his sons, that line. So uh, they took over that, that worship. Uh, today, you know, we look around and I, uh, I'm part of a couple different, uh, you know, verse of the day groups. And, and I have a, a guy that Barbara and I know, uh, he's a good, good guy, a believer up in Montana, Helena. And, uh, he's one of those, uh, you know, King James only and preferably the authorized version. And, uh, I noticed that uh, yesterday the the verse was it was out of Leviticus and you know he does a little commentary and he was talking about the importance of uh, of obedience to God <laughs> and he even mentioned the Sabbath and uh, but you know he doesn't observe the Sabbath right I'm sure uh, you know in discussion with him. Sunday is the Sabbath. Uh, you know, he's pretty adamant on that. And of course, the feasts. So again, we see in, in this parsha the, the command to observe the Moedim and, and the statement that these are God's days. These are not, these are God's appointed times. These are not Jewish holidays or not, you know, they're not anything other than the times that God appointed for us to commune with him and, and to celebrate uh, his goodness, basically, in our lives. Looking around, and I, I have talked to a lot of people lately, and, you know, there's a, a, general, a general sense of... Uh, desperation and hopelessness in in our society and i see that it is tied to uh you know the fact that we have lost sight of what is true this is true we we talk about this i know i talk about this all the time the word of god is true it's important to do what god says so that we we show that truth is valuable. Uh, it is so incredible that uh, we have so many people in this world who uh, had no, no appreciation for the sanctity of life. Uh, you know, everything from uh, wholesale murder. I, I mean, that we could even have discussions, uh, you know, ab about... Uh, what what is going on with all these uh, mass shootings? We'll go with that. Uh, and the discussion is about guns as opposed to uh, families that haven't taught their children uh, how precious life is and that that life came uh, from God, that God created us. We did not evolve, you know, from a rock or a fish or anything else. So, for me, look, looking through this this week's uh, Torah portion, I see that uh, holiness is important, being set apart. I think we can get tripped up a lot of times. Uh, you know, it's very easy, of course, to be self-righteous and holier than thou. That's not what it is meant by being set apart. Uh, conducting ourselves with integrity which is what Yeshua was talking about with the be perfect. Uh, 
I've done a lot of study on that, and there's just no doubt in my mind. We cannot be perfect. Yeshua was absolutely perfect. However, we can have and act with integrity. And, and that needs to be our focus. And then standing up and speaking out and speaking truth to the lies that this world would have us believe. Because if we don't, uh, we are going to go the way of the Israelites in, in 587 and again in 70 AD. Uh, we have to speak truth. Uh, you know, so uh, I just encourage everyone to, you know, keep sharing the the truth. I, I, I was talking about the guy up in uh, Montana. You know, the whole, the whole Shabbat thing, we have it right here. He lays out that, you know, observe Shabbat. It's the seventh day, right? Uh, it's, it's good. And that's why I started off with this Sunday thing, you know, because that's a lie, right? Uh, hey, you can worship God. And I, we should worship God in everything that we do 24 seven, right? I, and I, I don't do that. I, I fail on that. But we should. I, I mean, with everything we do, with every breath, we should be worshiping God. Uh, but to not recognize or to, to go along with the idea that, you know, Shabbat has been changed or that it isn't important uh, demeans God. And, and it, you know, it takes away from the importance of what he's, he's telling us in his word. And I can tell you that if we would all just go by what's in his word, we could turn this world around. But, you know, the, what we can do is do our best to do what he says in his word and impact as many people as we can around us for the kingdom of God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you for joining us. For more info about Olive Tree Community, visit olivetreecommunitiespokane.com. Join us on Messianic Joy Radio via live365.com for more Messianic music and teaching. To help present our videos to new viewers, please like, share, or leave a comment on this video. If you'd like to receive regular updates on our videos, please subscribe and use the notification bell. Shabbat Shalom from Olive Tree Community Spokane.